family. Welcome to Curvy Berta. Today I am going to take you with me on my vacation to Playa del Carmen. We're going to see the sights. We stayed at a at a condo um, on the north end of Fifth Avenue, which Fifth Avenue is the main tourist thoroughfare in Playa del Carmen. It's where all the shops are. It's a pedestrian walkway, so there, there's no motor traffic on that street. And it runs, oh, from, it runs from First Avenue to about 50th Avenue. So, and there are two, the numbers are, um, are, are, go by twos. So about 25 blocks of just shopping and restaurants and, um, nightclubs and just fun. And we had such a great time. We put on so many miles and got so many blisters and I want to take you on this trip with me. So if this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. So I recorded this in chunks um, and I'm going to narrate the rest today. So the first chunk you're going to see is me narrating driving um, to the airport. And so let's hop in my car and head to Chicago. Hey guys, I am so excited. I am just leaving home and we are headed on our vacation. We're headed to Mexico. So we will be in Mexico for a week. Um, we are driving separately. It's about a three and a half to four hour drive from where we live to Chicago, which is where we're flying out of. And so we are heading down that way. We are taking two vehicles uh, about halfway and we are dropping one off for, um, for our daughters who live down towards um, Chicago and we will be dropping a vehicle off with them for the week. And so we're driving separately for a little while, which not my favorite thing because I'd rather sit and chat with my wonderful husband, but you know, a little alone time is good. I'll listen to some podcasts and chat with you guys for a little bit. But I'm going to get a lot of um, good content while we're in Mexico. I've got like half of my suitcase is um, swimsuits that I got from Shein. So we'll do kind of a montage swim haul um, for for you guys while we're down in Mexico, which how cool is that? And hopefully the weather will be great. And you know, it end of July going to Mexico, I was a little nervous, but you know, looking at the weather, it really never gets over like 90, 95 is about as hot as it gets in Mexico. And so high 80s, low 90s. I'm I'm good with that. It's like that at, at in the hotter parts of the winter and so I think it's going to be fantastic. I was a little nervous about a trip to Mexico um <laughs> at the end of July, but it's it's a good it's a good trip. I never really told you guys about why we were going to Mexico in July. Um so we were supposed to go to Mexico in February and I had asked off work and my husband had taken off work and um, we had bought our tickets, we had uh, reserved our VRBO, um, we had everything done. We were leaving on Thursday morning and it was uh, Monday and I was sitting down to put like all of our, finalize our boarding stuff, put in our passport information and like COVID vaccine status and dates and um, get all that stuff uploaded. And I start putting in, in the information and my husband's passport was expired. I went down to the office and I'm like, honey, where 
where's your new passport? <laughs> what new passport? Okay, so I called the passport bureau and they asked where we were located, gave them our zip code, and they're like, well, we can do a $60 expedited passport renewal um, same day, uh, but you have to come into one of the offices. And we're like, yeah, okay. We're thinking Chicago is only a few hours away. We can we can go into Chicago and, and do this. And, and they're like, well, we have um, a few openings tomorrow morning. We have a nine o'clock in Buffalo. We have a 9.30 in El Paso, and we have a 10.15 in Honolulu. Would any of those work for you? It's like I don't have a private jet. How do you suppose? Okay, like, well, you know, I, I just don't think we'd be able to make any of those appointments. So we changed our vacation in February, and went to, God, I'm getting a lot of bounce, I'm sorry. We went to San Diego in February instead and uh, looked at changing our VRBO and with three days notice, you can't cancel your trip. But if you reach out to the, um, the property managers, sometimes they'll let you reschedule it with no notice. And so that's what we did. We sent an email fully expecting them to say no. And we were okay with that. It was all completely on us. Let them know what had happened and asked if we could change the dates of our reservation. And they were like, sure, when do you want to change them for? <coughs> Excuse me. So with my job, my only guaranteed time off, because I already had my vacation in for the year, my only guaranteed time off is summer and so I we picked July because I'm off in July and so therein lies this vacation so that's that's how we ended up with Mexico in July and he does have a new passport and I made sure of that about eight times so that's what we're doing we are flying out tomorrow morning and i will touch base with you guys when we i don't know i'll probably touch base a couple times tomorrow and uh let you enjoy the trip with us we'll talk soon saturday we went to the beach we went to a place called encanto beach which is a beach club um just down the road like literally just down the road from our condo that we stayed at and it was such a neat off the beaten path. Again, we were at the north end of Fifth Avenue, so we were kind of where things were quieting down. The hotel zone is more on the south end. The really active stuff is on the south end, and we were on the north end. So we're on the quieter end of, of, the, of the action. Um, so this beach is like the last beach club that you come to before you come to like this big nature preserve that's at the north end of the beach area. So it's there's not a lot of traffic. It's quiet. It's cheap. It's great. The food, the drinks were amazing. And I've got a video that I'll toss in here and where I'm at the beach in this amazing bikini that I got from Shein. I fell in love with this bikini and it ruined me for everything else that I took. I took literally 10 swimsuits along, didn't wear any more, wore this bikini every single time we went to the beach and wore the top every single day as a bra when I wasn't going to the beach. And then if I got hot, I just took my shirt off. It was nice. And I really liked it. And so if you, I will put a picture of it and I will link it below in the description. So we got to Playa at about 2.30, got our luggage, got through customs. We had um, reserved a um, private transport. So we had an SUV that picked us up at the airport and took us um, to Playa, which from Cancun to Playa del Carmen, it's about an hour drive. 
So we, outside the Cancun airport, there's a big uh, Margaritaville um, drink shack. And so you can get a margarita or any other drink. And it was a big drink. I would say it was probably a 32 ounce, uh, but I mean, they charge a horribly exorbitant fee for this drink. And so I went up and I ordered the drinks and, and every time we go to Playa, every time we go to Mexico, we get drinks at this stand at the airport. And every year, every time we go, they're a little bit more expensive. So we expect them to be expensive. I think the first time we went, they were like 20 bucks a drink. And this time they were almost 40. They were $39 a drink. So $78 later, my husband and I each had one of these giant margaritas, which I'll post a picture of it, me holding it on the, and you can drink as long as you're not the person driving, you can have an alcoholic beverage in the car in Mexico. So we get these, we sit in the back of the SUV and we drink these on our way to the condo. So during our hour trip, we sipped on these and looked at the sights and, and enjoyed our drive from Cancun airport to Playa del Carmen. I was wearing um, uh, my two piece um, cami strap, adjustable strap, tiered um, uh, two piece outfit from Shein. I love this. It traveled so well. I actually wore the pants another day um, and it, it it traveled just absolutely wonderfully. I'll put a picture up here of um, me wearing that uh, at, in my in my studio before we went. I take a lot of pictures of myself and I should have. And, you know, after the fact, you realize that you take a lot of pictures of, I took a lot of pictures of the food we ate and of the drinks we drank because they were pretty and they looked good on the camera. I didn't take a ton of pictures of myself in the outfits that I wore. I'll go through the outfits that I wore. I'll put up pictures of me wearing the outfits that I wore from the studio, um, but lessons learned differently next time. So we uh, had our margaritas and then for dinner, we went to a restaurant. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I have my little, my little travel book here. And uh, we went to a restaurant called La Capricosa for dinner. And I had this amazing seafood dish. It was a half of a pineapple cored out and it was full of, oh goodness, there was octopus and shrimp and fish and scallops and squid. Oh, it was so good. It was just fresh seafood um, with like a tomato-y sauce and some cheese. It was really, really, really good. Very, very rich. I ate probably half of it. Had a nice little salad on the side. I enjoyed that. And it came with a soup. And, and Michael and I split a soup uh, with it. Um, and it was a seafood bisque or a seafood, no, it was a, it wasn't a cream. It wasn't a bisque. It was a seafood soup. And it had, again, it had mussels and it had all of the same, um, seafood in it that my, um, that my pineapple had. So I'll put pictures up while I'm talking about these things. And so you can share in the, in the delights of my, of my dining experience, um, in Mexico. So that was day one because we got in late. We didn't get to our condo until probably 4.30. So we walked around, got dinner. We were tired. We we didn't we didn't stay out late that night. We kind of called it a night early and um, headed to bed. And so now let's um, take a look at the condo that we stayed in. Well, we are here. Here's our condo. We have a one bedroom. This is the bathroom. Michael is using it right now. It's kind of a shotgun style. Nice kitchen. And then the door opens fully, extends open. Um, for our, our deck is pretty decent sized for sitting out there. And then some entertainment type stuff really nice TV, AC, and we are set for the week. So our second day in Playa del Carmen was Friday. 
um, the 22nd of July. And we walked all the way down Fifth Avenue. By the time we got all the way to the end of Fifth Avenue, I had so many blisters on my feet. Um, we stopped at, there was an Old Navy at the end of Fifth Avenue. Like, friendly face right there in the middle of, of Mexico. So we stopped at Old Navy um, for me to get a pair of flip-flops because I had blisters everywhere else on my feet besides <laughs> between my toes. So like, flip-flops, that'll work. So her flip-flops, they had some cute plus items at Old Navy. So I did a little, a little haul and I'm going to be putting that up soon. But um, so I got a few items um, from Old Navy and um, I checked and they're available here as well as, as there. So, so worry not, I'll be able to get you links to what I got. Uh, but I'll, I'll work on that haul and get that up for you in the next, in the next few days. Um, who went to Old Navy, Navy, I got some flip flops. Uh, and then we were planning on going to the beach, but it, it rained in the morning. We went to breakfast at this amazing little French cafe, which, you know, you know, something is really good when there is a line of people outside and you have to wait a half an hour to be seated. And so we, we did that in the morning before we walked down Fifth Avenue and it was so good. It was, you got like this quarter of a baguette and fresh jam and fresh butter and then eggs and ham and oh, it's just amazing. I'll put up pictures while I'm talking about what we ate. So good, so, 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 so good. Um, so then we walked down Fifth Avenue hit Old Navy, got some flip-flops, walked back um, down Fifth Avenue. We, um, we, just, we just had fun. We stopped here and there along the way and, um, and uh, had a beverage and just walked and enjoyed, and enjoyed our time. We, um, Initially, we were going to go to the beach that day, but when while we were having breakfast, it was raining and it kind of looked overcast. So we were dressed for the beach, but we didn't actually go to the beach. So this day, I wore my blue daisy uh, print bikini from Shein, and I'll post a picture. And I had the gray cover-up, the gray, gray crocheted cover-up, so pretty. And then the shorts that I did in my haul not too long ago that had the button fly and the buttons on the on the pockets, I wore those. And so we did that. We walked back. As we were walking back towards our condo, we came across this um, this place called the Baton Rouge, a small kind of dank sort of uh, long narrow uh, bar restaurant area that one wall, entire wall was a stage. And it said live rock music and salsa dancing. We, this sounds kind of interesting. So we stopped, we had some tacos, we had a couple drinks, and I think I took a picture of the drinks. They were really good. Wait, I think I had Malibu rum with fresh squeezed orange juice and it was amazing. Very fresh tasting drink. And we talked to them a little bit and they said, yep, every day we have a band from two until, what did they start at two and they go until one o'clock in the morning. So they have one band from like two until six, one band from six until nine, and then a third band from nine until like one o'clock in the morning. We're like, hmm, we'll be back. And back. I think we went there just about every night because they had a different band. Um, the staff was really friendly. We could have a couple drinks, we could watch the band, and then we usually got something like nachos or french fries or something for a late night snack. And it was really, really good. Um, so we did that. We had tacos there. They had a, a band playing that it was it was okay, but you know, there was nobody else there. It wasn't really lively. And we had other things we wanted to do besides just sit um, somewhere. And so we wandered around for a little bit longer. Um, no more rain that day. I think that was the only day we had any rain. It was, it was gorgeous. 
Um, and then for dinner, we went to um, a little restaurant off of Fifth Avenue, like where we would turn to walk back to our condo. There were there was like a lot of greenery. Um, there was a weird sculpture of dung beetles, which I'll toss up here. Different, but kind of cool. Very cool. Um, and there was a place called the Cave of Change. It was also in Spanish and I'll put a picture of the sign up here. And it was really, really neat. They had outdoor seating, but they had, it was a cave and they had indoor seating and they had like this flooring of cave. They had poured in the concrete, they had poured like a resin river going through the, the concrete floor. Just amazing. Outside, they had this log that was hollowed out, full of limes, mangoes, and um, pineapples. And it I think I took a picture of that. I'll toss it up if I did. And I'll see if I can find a picture of the floor. I think my husband took a picture of the floor, if Why not, went online and pop it up somewhere. Really neat place. And so we went there for dinner and it was so good, so amazing. I don't think I took a picture of our dinner there. We went back for breakfast the next morning though. Took a picture of that. So that is it for Friday. Saturday we went to the beach. We went to a place called Encanto Beach, which is a beach club um, just down the road, like literally just down the road from our condo that we stayed at. It was such a neat off the beaten path. Again, we were at the north end of Fifth Avenue, so we were kind of where things were quieting down. The hotel zone is more on the south end. The really active stuff is on the south end, and we were on the north end, so we're on the quieter end of of the of the action. Um, so this beach is like the last beach club that you come to before you come to like this big nature preserve that's at the north end of the beach area. So it's there's not a lot of traffic. It's quiet. It's cheap. It's great. The food, the drinks were amazing. And I've got a video that I'll toss in here and where I'm at the beach in this amazing bikini that I got from Shein. I fell in love with this bikini and it ruined me for everything else that I took. I took literally 10 swimsuits along, didn't wear any more, wore this bikini every single time we went to the beach and wore the top every single day as a bra when I wasn't going to the beach. And then if I got hot, I just took my shirt off. It was nice. And I really liked it. And so if you, I will put a picture of it and I will link it below in the description. I am sunning myself on the beach in beautiful Playa del Carmen. I am, we are at a beach resort or a beach club called Encanto Beach, which is just up the road from our condo. It's, it's gorgeous. They do little beach beds for, um, 500 pesos per person, which is like $25. And then you just have to spend that in food and drink throughout the day. Easy enough. <laughs> no problem. Um, so we are SPF'd to the max and getting some sun. And I'm in the sun right now. I'm gonna switch to the shade very soon here. Um, because I don't want to get that much sun on my skin, but I just want a little bit of a sun-kissed feel. Um, as bad as that is, I just would like it. Um, I have found that I have not been putting a speck of makeup on. It's, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's like, I think the highest temp we're gonna see is 90. It's been like 85. We got a thunderstorm yesterday morning while we were eating breakfast. It lasted probably about an hour and then that's been, it's been. What you see behind me is what we have. There's a gorgeous breeze coming off the water that is making um, it not feel that warm at all. The atmosphere is gorgeous. The, the oh, I just love Playa. Um, if you have any questions about Playa del Carmen, let me know. The 
this is the bar crib. And um, I'll tell you guys at some point about the fact that uh, becoming expats to Mexico is kind of our retirement plan. We'd like to eventually get a condo down here and, and live down here at least half of the year. So I can't imagine anything better. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. We'll check in with you guys in a little while. I'm gonna toast my buns a little bit. So we stayed at the beach for hours. My husband went snorkeling. I didn't. I was just having a good old time listening to podcasts and laying on my beach lounger. I I took in a little bit of sun, just enough to singe my left ham hock that has not seen sun in a very long time. Um, but cause it was in the sun and I thought I was in the shade, but my rear end, one side of my rear end was not in the shade as much as I thought it was. Don't do that. So I, um, we, we thought that we had spent more than we had. And so what, what I told you in the video is that you pay 500 pesos for your chair, for your spot, for the day. And you um, have a 500 peso credit at the per person at the club. And you basically, you spend what you spend. If you go over, then you, when you cash out, when you leave, you pay the difference. If you don't spend it all, well, then they get a bonus. And so that's okay. Um, so we, we drank and we ordered an order of french fries to like nibble on like around lunchtime and we figured we had gone through 500 pesos each of drink and it's 25 dollars doesn't take long to go through 25 dollars and so we figured we were done we packed up we were gonna head out to go to lunch um we were gonna go back to the condo change shower change and then head out on Fifth Avenue for lunch and, and evening activities and dinner. And we walked up to our server and he's like, you still have credit left. You still have, we like each had a hundred and some pesos left. So we got, he's like, take some sodas to go. So we got, they don't have Diet Coke in, um, in Mexico, they have Coke Light. It's just a little different. It's actually tastes better than Diet Coke. I like it better. It's a little bit sweeter. Um, so we got like four cans of Coke Light and um, what else? He gave us something else. Oh, a few bottles of water to take back to the to the condo with us. So we did that and we did our tip and we we left. And so then we went to went back, got changed. Um, I wore this gorgeous um, her leopard dress for the evening and I'll pop a picture up here. So pretty and so comfortable. And I just love this again from Shein. I'll put a link below. And we went to uh, this place. I'm going to read it out of my notes because I'm going to get it wrong otherwise. Uh, La Per Pixin Cuisine. Um, it's a Mexican cuisine uh, restaurant excuse me, we went there and we had, um, Mike had a bowl of soup of mushroom, a mushroom soup that was really good, very flavorful. And I had the, an appetizer. It was, um, coconut shrimp appetizer it came with a little salad next to it. And it was on a, um, on a bed of, of mango puree. It was so delicious. And, uh, I'll pop a picture up of our, of our lunch. And then we went, back to the Baton Rouge. And that was our plan was to go back there and see what was going on for music. The music was amazing. We got there a little later. We got there, I think around eight, maybe we wandered, we wandered the street. We stopped in and saw the earlier band. Um, they were okay. We left for a little while. We came back a little bit later and saw the later band, the one that went on at nine. No, we saw the one that went on at six. I'm sorry. We went there a little bit earlier, saw the, the early evening band, and then we went back and saw the one that went on at six o'clock. And they were amazing. 
they were so good and they did like classic rock i mean they were singing classic rock and they were so good i will pop up a little short that i um that i took of them and um i'll see if i can find their name and i'll put it in the description box i know i wrote it down somewhere i'll find it i'll try and find see if I can find it. But they were really, really good to the point where they said they were going to be back on, this was Saturday, they were going to be back on Monday. We planned to be there on Monday when they came back because we wanted to hear them play again. They were really good. After nine o'clock when they were done, we playing. went looking for a place to have dinner. We found a cute little Italian restaurant called Ristorante uh, Embassiata d'Italia. Um, and I had a great linguine dish, which I'll pop up a picture of, and um, really, really good. And that is it for Saturday. Sunday, we spent some time up on our roof. the rooftop of the condo, had a pool and a hot tub and some lounge chairs, and there was nobody else up there besides us. So we had a really great time on the roof of our condo enjoying um, some, some, uh, just some time alone, just kind of hanging out. We, I wore during the day a floral mustard cami top from Shein along with some black biker shorts. And that was my, my early day, um, outfit. For breakfast, we went to a place up Fifth Avenue from where we were, which there isn't a lot. There were a few places and they were pretty good. Um, called Que, Que Huevos. Hey, huevos, huevos, Q-U-E, huevos. Um, really, really good breakfast. Uh, I don't think I took a picture of it, but they were really, really good. And then we had a late breakfast, so we really didn't have anything for lunch that day. Um, the evening, we so we spent the time on the, on the roof. We went to... We went for another long walk down Fifth Avenue. We really enjoyed just wandering Fifth Avenue and just kind of enjoying the the atmosphere and just kind of being there. We logged, I think we, I think we hit almost 20,000 steps just about every day. We just walked. Um, and then we went back to the condo uh, a little bit later. I put on the, the kerchief top from Shein, which I, w I wouldn't be comfortable wearing it at home, but I felt so comfortable wearing it there. Mike took a picture of me. I'll toss it up here. I wore it with the pants that I wore the first day with the other outfit, uh, the black pants. And I wore my Michael Kors um, slides because that was the only thing for the last half of our trip that I could wear that didn't touch my blisters and didn't give me new blisters. So the the flip-flops, I wore those home from Old Navy back down Fifth Avenue from Old Navy. And by the time I got back, I had blisters between my toes and I couldn't wear those anymore. So I was kind of stuck. Um, so I got these Michael Kors at TJ Maxx before we left. So those are, um, those are there. So this kerchief top, it's got the the metal hardware on one side. It's it's gorgeous colors, um, and then a band across the back. There's really not a lot of room in there for anything else, and so I had to go braless with it, and I was okay with that, which is weird because that's not me. But going out of my shell and doing new things, and that was one of them. So I've got a couple of other pictures. Hook. Um, while during, during the evening wearing that. And I really, I liked it. I liked the, the top um, and, and we had fun. So we went to Senior Frogs. Senior Frogs, okay, that's, it's a, it's a chain, it's trendy, it's, it's annoying to be there. It's like a TGI Fridays. It's just, the people who work there are kind of in your face a lot. And so not my favorite thing, but it wasn't bad and it was fun. And we went there for the one evening. And um, funny enough, they put name tags on you and they make up something about you. And so 
Mike's name tag they put on Screw Daddy on it. And my name tag said 50% blonde, 50% drunk. I was like, not all wrong. So it was, it was funny. And then they signs behind our chair and behind Mike's chair, they put dance machine and behind my chair, they put supermodel. And so it was just, we laughed about that, that he was my sugar daddy dance machine and I was his half drunk supermodel. And so that was kind of our, our laugh for the, <laughs> for the time we were there. Did a couple of shots of um, lemon drops and then we just had a couple of drinks and, and moved on. And we went back to the Baton Rouge for some music. But before we went to the Baton Rouge for music, we went to a place called the Icto Fish House. Now, if you are ever in Playa del Carmen, you have to go to the Icto Fish House. This is a really tiny restaurant. I want to say there were maybe 10 tables in this restaurant. We went to a couple places like this that were like just tiny little dives but had the most amazing food that we had on our whole trip. So the Icto Fish House, we had um, we had a couple of beverages, which I'll put those up, and then they brought out this appetizer of like dried sardines, dried, and with a little oil. And I didn't think anything of it. I just grabbed one, dipped it in the oil, popped it in my mouth. It tasted like... Um, like overdone chicken skin with fish flavor. And it was okay, it wasn't anything that I really wanted to just kind of keep eating, but it was okay. My husband wouldn't touch it. I'm like, try it, he's like, no, no. So I took a picture of him. I'm like, if you're gonna be that afraid of it, I wanna take a picture of you being afraid of it. So I took a picture I of him, eat, eat one. He never put one in his mouth. He's such a chicken, but you know, gotta love him. We had the most amazing dinner. He had, a, the, they had a mussel special on the menu. And so he had that and I had the jumbo shrimp. And I'll put up pictures of our dinners somewhere. Before. And it was just so amazing. So good, so well done, so well seasoned. Just, just amazing, amazing food. Again, Icto Fish House. So good. So we went back to the Baton Rouge. Um, there was a different band there with a female lead singer and she did an amazing job. I'll see if I, I think I might have a video of just a little clip of her um, singing some Joan Jett. I'll toss that up if I can find it. Um, and that is it for Sunday. We only have a couple more days, so hang in there. On Monday, we went back to the beach. We, um, had so much fun. So in the morning for breakfast, we went back up Fifth Avenue, again, near the Cuevos to a place called Sandwich, which is right next door, had breakfast there. I'll toss up a picture of our breakfast. It was so good. I, we didn't have a bad meal the whole time we were there. Um, I wore, again, the black bikini oh, with a, my green cami dress from Shein. I'll put those in the description. I don't know if I have a picture of me that day with my outfit, but I'll put it in the description below. And I can toss up a picture of the studio picture of me with the green dress on there. Um, we went to the beach. We decided that we were gonna be a little bit more mindful of our money at the beach. And we ordered lunch at the beach before we left. And so we had burgers, fries, and we, only ended up going over by like 100 pesos, which is, it's about 20 to one exchange. So like five bucks we went over. So we hit that pretty good. Um, had a good time, stayed in the shade, listened to podcasts, just enjoyed the sound of the waves, um, walked in the water a little bit, just, it was just peaceful and nice. Um, after the, uh, Beach Club, then we went to a place called uh, Las Gias de la Tara and had appetizers. Um, 
I don't know if I took pictures of those appetizers. I didn't, I don't think I did. It was okay. It was good. No complaints. I think I had tacos. Tacos are always good. And then we, a little bit later in the afternoon, we went back to the Baton Rouge again to listen to music because our band that we listened to um, the first time we went there was back again. So we listened to them again. They did an excellent job again. Uh, we had some late night nachos at the Baton Rouge for our um, dinner and that was our night. On Tuesday, we did souvenir shopping. So we always make sure that when we go on trips, we take something home for each of the kids. Um, so for our oldest daughter, at, um, our oldest two daughters have boyfriends, we bring stuff home for them as well. Um, we just make sure that we always let them know that while we're away, we're still thinking about them. We did the Cave of Change for breakfast again. I have to show you of this breakfast. It is amazing. So it is a hard tostada shell with scrambled eggs, green peas. What other color would peas be, Berta? Peas, um, grilled plantains, which I absolutely adore, and um, like a tomato sauce over the top. I also had some refried beans on it which don't tell Mike, he doesn't like beans, but he thought this was delicious. They hid them in there. I don't think he even noticed. So good, so good. Um, then for lunch, we went to a place called the Freaky Tiki for burgers. They're off Enough. the beaten path place, down a little side street. Oh my God, so good. The burger was like this tall. It had the burger patty and it had a couple pieces of bacon and it had like three giant onion rings on it. And then it had the cover of the, the bun on top. It was so huge and so amazing. We had calamari and they came, they were full tubes of calamari deep fried. They looked like fritters or deep fried cheese curds or something. Um, they were like this big, they were huge and they were so good and it was just amazing. Um, I will, you'll see. And then for dinner on, Tuesday, which was our Slam. night in Playa, we went to another little off the beaten path place. Again, had I think two tables outside and three tables inside. I think it was some guy's living room that we were eating in, literally. Um, it was called La Roma and it was an Italian restaurant. And you've got to see, we had the Caprese salad we had, Mike had a uh, bolognese, spaghetti bolognese, and I had a lasagna. And I swear the lasagna was so hot, I think that they just took it out of the oven. It was so amazing. Um, and that was our last night in Playa. And then on Wednesday, we went home. We went on Tuesday, I forgot to tell you, I was wearing the black bikini with a black dress from Shein that has the tape down the sides that says love on it. So cute. I'm doing a Shein haul. It's going to be in that Shein haul. I'm going to put a picture somewhere up of, of me wearing the dress in the studio. Um, you've got to so flattering. It's so, it's not bodycon. It looks in the pictures on Shein's website like it's bodycon. It's not bodycon. It's loose. Um, I will put a picture up of me in the studio with it on. I will put, I'll notate what size I'm wearing in the description box below with a link to it. It's gorgeous. It's coming up in my next Shein haul, but it is amazing. You're going to love it. Just buy it. Wednesday, we went home. We went back to Shea Celine for breakfast because we were getting picked up at noon. So we had time to pack up our stuff. We had to be checked out of the condo at 10. We stored our luggage at the concierge desk at the condo. They have a security desk and had 24 hour security. So we left our luggage with the concierge and went to breakfast. So we went back to Shea Celine, the, the little Parisian cafe 
had breakfast there and then um, we went back to the condo, basically had probably 20 minutes and then our ride came. So we, we soaked up every second that we could in Playa del Carmen. Um, that day I wore one of my new dresses from Old Navy. I'll give sneak you a peek of it here and it's gonna be in an upcoming haul. I'm gonna do my Old Navy haul um, probably in the next couple of days. So within a week, you'll see the Old Navy haul pop up. It um, It's a little blue denim dress with a white print on it. It's a baby doll um, dress, comes right about to my knee, uh, short sleeve, kind of poofy uh, with a little smocking around the neckline. Really super cute. Uh, we took the uh, SUV again back to the airport. Um, once we got checked in, got through security, there's a little shopping in the Cancun airport, did a, a lot of uh, looking around, didn't buy anything. Um, and we ate lunch at the, there was a Guy Fieri um, restaurant in the, in the airport, we ate there. And so then we hopped the plane and came home. And so I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, little weird montage of my um, of my trip. I know in the very beginning, I promised you a swimsuit montage, but the little black bikini ruined it for every other swimsuit that I took. So what I'll do is I'll put together a swimsuit haul with my Shein swimsuits that I had every intention of wearing and didn't wear any of them. I'll put together a haul with those and get them out to you so you can see them because I got some pretty cute ones. Um, if you liked what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, thank you. Please give me a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear a comment from you. Um, if you like this kind of video, if you didn't enjoy it, I'm sorry. Um, if there's something else you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a fantastic week.